Alright guys, you may be wondering why uh, I changed up this puzzle. Uh, two reasons. One, uh, this was a mod that I showed y'all earlier, and I needed to do this, and also this, and this is a 3x3x4, three by three by and uh, you can make it cubic, but anyway, that's not the point. I just switched these pieces for that reason, and also it'll be a little easier to see the pieces and like what we're dealing with because we're only dealing with the top and bottom layers. So, we s finished with having this, these three middle layers solved. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making the cross. So, you'll find, you'll try to find a piece on the black side and try to line them up to where they, to where it goes. And then you will, uh, if you have a piece where it doesn't need to go, you'll do a 2F, move it out of the way, and do another 2F. And that'll get it out of there. And what you'll do, like if you want to put a piece uh, in this bottom layer, you'll move it to the side. You'll do a 2F, move it forward, move it back, and do a 2F. I know that kind of looks like orange, but that's red. That is orange. That is red. And just go ahead and do that for the remaining sides. And there you go. And that's what I call the true cross. Because you actually have a real cross. And next what you want to do is you want to get all the... Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, that corner slotting algorithm that we did to put these top pieces right here, that's pretty much what we're going to do. So R, U, R, U prime, R. And that takes it out. So we'll move it to where we want the piece to go. So R, U, R, U prime, R. And there you go. And then fix this layer. And just keep doing that for all the pieces. That was the wrong place. Once again, I'm only looking into the camera. And if you have parity that is perfectly fine but if you want to try to avoid it oh crap what I do um, like for instance right here you got one more corner and what you can do to avoid it is put in a random corner and then bring that corner back and then place it that end just like that and you have this bottom layer solved and now do what you normally do which is getting the corners on the top layer, so none of them, so R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, D, R, U prime, R, R, U, R. And then rotate it twice to put these over here, then R, U, R, U prime, R, D, R, uh, U prime, R, U prime, R, U, R. And there you go. So. Here's a case where I don't have parity. I will be going over parity in the next video. And uh, these are the top and bottom layers. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish this little section right here. And uh, what you do is you do that edge swapping algorithm that we did in the other video. In the other video. And just so you know, it switches these two. And it messes up this layer. So the algorithm is R, U, R, 2, U. My bad. R U R T U R T U R U R U prime R. And it messed that up, but it switched these two. So bring the last two in. R U R U R U two R U two R U R U prime R. And there you go. The next video will be all about parity, because you can have parity when these this layer is switched. And you have this layer solved and this layer solved. And we'll be going over that in the next video.